to weekly vlog number 12 or 13. I'm not entirely sure um, which one we are on. I'm just getting ready for work because today's Monday. Can't remember if I said that. And I'm just gonna comb my hair. It feels like it's gonna be painful today. So there we go. Um, but I thought I'd film another weekly vlog. I haven't actually filmed a weekly vlog in ages. The last weekly vlog that you saw, which I think might have been weekly vlog 11, I'm not sure, um, that was filmed ages ago. And then I think I did a weekend vlog. And then here we are. So I'm gonna try and film most things this week. But yeah, I'm just gonna brush my hair. I've got a short week at work this week. I'm only going to be working Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday and half of Thursday. So nice and quick. Right, I am now ready to go to work. Sorry, my hair's a bit crazy. I put some dry shampoo through it. Um, it's snowing outside, so I might show you a little, well, it's snowy outside on the ground. I might show a little clip of that. Um, but I'm going to head to work now and I will see you when I get back. That is what it looks like outside. The steam is coming from the exhaust of my car. <laughs> Just to let you know. Are those mushy peas for me? Mushy, well, not all for you. Well, obviously. That would give you ass gas. Yeah. Oh, it was hot. Mm. Mom. I do wear all the clothes. <laughs> <laughs> Mum's always wearing this dressing gown whenever I film her. Oh, god damn. <laughs> It is now Tuesday, is that right? Yeah. yeah. Um, it's now Tuesday and I didn't video much yesterday, but I'm gonna show you a face mask later on. So that's exciting. Mom's here, she's not wearing a dressing gown. No, still not looking too glamorous. I've only just got out of bed. <laughs> it's very, Literally. it's very dark out there. I struggled to get up. So. I was up since half past six. Yeah. And it's now quarter to eight. Yeah. I've got much going with me. I haven't had a coffee yet. <laughs> Mum looks so tired. <laughs> right, goodbye. Hello. So, I'm back from work now and I've had a pretty decent day. I was doing some packeting, which you don't know what that is, but I do and it's my favourite thing to do at work. So it was a good day. But I thought I would show you a couple of things that I got sent recently so this section of the video is in collaboration with sand and sky which i was so excited to work with them they sent me this package out so i will show you they contacted me literally like five days ago and they asked me to send my address over so i did and then they sent the item the next day so it arrived very very quickly and i was like I love skincare products. So yeah, these are skincare products. Um, so they sent me their Australian Pink Clay Facial Wash. It's a deep pore cleanser. And also the Australian Pink Clay um, Pore Fining Face Mask. So I'll talk about each of these products individually um, just a little bit in this vlog. But they also left a little note and it said, Hi Georgie, we hope you enjoy these amazing products from Sand and Sky's Australian Pink Clay range. We're looking forward to seeing your YouTube videos with these products. Don't forget to tag us on socials. So I will leave their social medias in the description if you want to go and check them out. But if you can read that, that is their social medias there. So the first thing is this. Now I have used these products to test match rather than before I film this video. And I'm gonna show you me using these products in this video. Um, but this one is the like facial cleanser. So this is the packaging. I love the packaging to start with, like the colors and everything. This is what the product looks like. And it's like a pinky kind of color. This has like really nice kind of like scrubby bits in it. So like it kind of feels like a slight exfoliation to your skin as well, which is really, really nice, which I kind of like in a facial wash. It makes my skin feel really fresh and really smooth after using it. And yeah, really liked it. It lathers up really well as well. I will show you a demo of this in a second. But the other product they sent me was this um, face mask. It comes with a little face mask brush, which I always like. Um, this is like a little kind of pink brush. I like brushes like this, so I'm gonna use that to apply this product. 
um, if we get the product out. Nope, no, he dropped it. And it's in like pink packaging, like this. I do love a good clay face mask. Um, and this is what it looks like on the inside. So as you can see, it's like a pink color and it is a clay kind of texture and consistency. And again, I am gonna show you me using that in a second. So it's gonna be quite hard for me like to show you me washing my face, but we can try. We get the product now. I'm gonna take a little bit into my hand, like that. A little does go a long way with this product, I'm not gonna lie. And then we're just gonna massage that into the skin. And as you can see, it lathers up straight away. Smells really nice, feels really fresh on the skin, which is really nice and just feels like my face is getting like really nice and clean, especially after a day of work and also wearing makeup all day as well. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna wash this off now and then I'll show you the face mask. So now my skin is all nice and fresh and clear and clean. I am gonna pop on the face mask. Now I tend to do a face mask about four times a week and I have various different face masks. I own about six. One of them is my own face mask that I make and sell on my Etsy and eBay, which is still available. It is a charcoal clay face mask. I will leave a link in the description if you wanna go and check that out. It's completely up to you. Might be a nice Christmas gift to get somebody, but yeah, that'll be in the description. So we're gonna just take a little bit onto the brush and then we're just gonna kind of smooth it around the skin. Now the first time I used this um, face mask, I the one word, came straight to mind and it's silky. This feels silky on the skin, like it literally glides onto my skin. It is applied this is what it looks like on the skin it's kind of like um i like face masks like this where you can like see the product on your skin that's why i like clay face masks because i just love like doing face masks in general i feel like i'm just like painting my entire face which is pretty much what i am doing what i noticed about this face mask um is that it smells like cherry bakewells like it's got like that marzipan kind of smell to it but i like cherry bakewells so i'm not moaning about that but it says to leave it on for 10 minutes, which is exactly what I'm gonna do. And then to wash it off, it does recommend to use this face mask two times a week for best results. I will probably use it once a week because like I said, I've got various different face masks that I use. Um, so I just kind of switch around with them, which I think is nice because each face mask has different skincare benefits. So I like to kind of keep it mixed and matched, but this is what we're looking like as you can see it's already starting to dry i'll show you what it looks like when it's fully dried so just a quick reminder there will be a link left in the description to sand and skies website where you can have a look at their products that they do including the facial wash and also the face mask that i've mentioned um in this video and thank you to them for sending them to me because i'm a massive skincare lover and um beauty in general lover but particularly face masks so thank you see you in five minutes so this is what my mask is looking like now it hasn't quite been on for 10 minutes but i thought i'd show you what it's looking like like how this is the dry part and this is the bit that's not dried um but yeah so like i said links in the description love the face mask i've tried it out a few times before now so um to give it like a thorough review. But yeah, really like it. So um, go check it out. Hello, it is Thursday morning. I am just 
sitting now in my little room. I always sit in this room now. It's like attached to the living room. It's like a little conservatory room. I've got the heater on. That is what you can hear. If you can hear anything. I've got my coffee. Here, ready to go. I'm going to watch some YouTube for a little bit this morning. I have got work today. Got my little blanket. Got my little blanket. I've had my advent calendar chocolate this morning um, from my Hershey's advent calendar, which you would have seen yesterday. I did not video anything yesterday apart from my advent calendar. So it is the 2nd of December today. I think I'll just vlog today and then I think I'll just end this video. I haven't filmed that much, but I will insert some clips from when me, my mum and my nana went to Brig Garden Centre last week. Um, so I'll show you that, which is um, basically very very Christmassy. um i filmed that on my phone so the quality will change but it's still pretty decent on my phone um but yeah i'll show you that now um and then i will video the rest of the day like i think i'm gonna go to b&m later so i'll show you some of the bits that i've got from there but i think i am gonna get a few like christmas present bits for um i want to get something with my brother so i'm just not gonna show that on here just in case just in case i know that tommy doesn't watch my videos but just in case and also there might be some other people as well so um yeah but i'm just gonna sit have my breakfast i've got work later on um well i've got work at eight this morning until about 3 3 30 because um we're finishing a little bit early today which is good and then i'm gonna um head to b&m when i finished which i'm excited to do so um yeah sorry this log is absolute trash but what can you do Dear God, I look a little bit worse for wear. I'm not gonna lie. Um, I'm so tired. I've got like a billion layers on. Um, I went to B&M with my mum. I drove there and it was good. I also drove to work this morning. I don't think I videoed after work today, but I drove to work this morning and it was completely snowy, completely icy. And um, yeah, I drove really slow and it was good to have experience driving in the snow and the ice and to realize how out of control the car like and to see like how out of control of the car you are when it is like that and i did skid slightly off the road um when i got to work which um i've heard that a few other people did that as well so i don't feel as bad but it was just a slight bit and i was literally in second gear like i was going so slow um so i was fine but yeah um i went to b&m i'm gonna show you a couple of things i got i got this which is basically a little plate to put tea bags on which sounds like such a boring thing but i love it um it just means i don't have to put my tea bags in the bin straight away and i can just pop them on here and then empty it at the end of the day absolute genius love that so that's just kind of chilling over here for now i then have some zaflora in this bowl at the minute kind of making everywhere smell nice and i did buy that I bought the winter spice um, disinfectant, so it's the the, the uh, winter spice of flora. So like that. I got this um, <laughs> cheese and tomato pasta pot. I also got these. Oh my god, um, Dairy Lee cheese thingies. Not had these in years. Started wrapping up presents down here as well. 
oh yeah this is my advent calendar this year by the way hershey's cookies and cream um and yeah i love it oh yeah did i show you this in last week's vlog um i don't think i did this is my updated christmas decorations that my mum got me um so you would have seen them in my weekend vlog i also purchased this little hanging santa and um this little um rudolph thing you would have seen that in my previous vlog as well i got him from brick garden center as well as this stocking as well to add to my christmas collection i won't film any more for this weekly vlog i just want to keep it short and sweet um but thank you for watching and hopefully next week's weekly vlog will be a little bit more interesting but we'll see i might in next week's weekly vlog make this sorry i thought someone was gonna fall out of the cupboard i might make this festive gingerbread house see how it goes um oh for goodness sake right thanks for watching and i will see you in my next video goodbye